Hey, what's up, world? Welcome back to another edition of the Cigars and Bullshit Podcast. Yours truly, DJ Bentley. I'm joined with uh, Steve and Frankie, where we're going to talk about another interesting topic this week. Cuts and flavors. It's about cigars and it's about the bullshit. Let's get into it. I mean, yeah. you you bring up an interesting thing that I learned. You know, so even the 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 cut with the different cutters, like what you prefer, what you like. Right, right. Um, Everybody has. You know, depending on what you're smoking, you might you kind of different right, 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 different yeah, way. That's what I've learned through oh. the years. Is exactly what you just said. Is depending on what cigar and, and how it's structured and all that. Like I just found out about V cuts like last year. I'm mm. like, was, Steve's like, hey, I got this new V cutter. Let's try it out. So and we try it out, and all of a sudden, I'm like, holy crap! This is like yeah. a whole other. So well, the ones you mentioned like a different draw. Yeah, and, 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 and that's the, out the yeah, a little bit. yeah, that's the whole thing. Like I like the two that I like, punch. And the V cut, those are my preferred. Right. Like I like the punch and the V cut. Definitely the punch because of the draw, different draw. And again, depending on how the cigar is rolled, you get a different pull. But then that all goes into the different flavor as you go down to the last third yeah. and all of that. So, I mean, not to go all technical, but yeah, I mean the the that's interesting. What do you think that that chisel tip does to the flavor of the well, cigar? The, the, the structure. I mean. I think what it does is it kind of, I feel like it creates a different draw when you pull. It's it's just nice. It works. And I don't know if it's the narrowing or the, the way it goes in your mouth. It just feels like a regular, like, I guess, you know, on the old days they had the filter tips, uh, like on a pipe. Uh, right, 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 a pipe. Or on a cigarette, you used to put yeah, a yeah. cigarette into a, a, it's kind of got that pre-made structure to it right. where it just... Just makes for an easier smoke. I think yeah. that the drawer and the, the the pull is just nicer. Yeah. You could probably have the same effect if you make the right cut on any cigar. Right, right, right. And that's why people are selective in whether they're gonna have a, a perfecto and cut it this way, or they're gonna have a, a regular toro and use a straight cut or a mm -hmm. punch, or it's what you prefer. Yeah, yeah. Just like we all prefer certain way ways of smoking, cutting, what you're lighting it with. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so you choose to smoke. It's funny. Do you remember we had a conversation? So, so we, he bought me a, a, a really nice cigar for my birthday. <laughs> and this, he goes, is, this is another time when he, he started. Goes, he goes, he, 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 he never smoked, right? So he's like, I got you this cigar. I know you like cigars. I'm like, oh, man, this is amazing. So he gives me this Padron, really nice Padron, right? It's a Padron 80 year. Old, year. Wow. 80 year. So I'm like, oh, man, Steve, I'm going to savor this thing. Right? Well, he didn't. And, and I, didn't I, was like, I don't want to split. Like, now he understands. I'm like, now I'm like, I'm like, like, I'm 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 and we just sat and hung out and had a drink. Right. But I wasn't smoking at that time. This is even before. Wow. Yeah, this is before the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so okay. what month is your birthday? March. March. So just when COVID was like hitting, yeah, yeah, yeah. was when we had hung out for like the last time. Mm -hmm. His birthday, I ran and got him that cigar. And then, I you know, I kind of. out before he was into cigar. But you know, you know what it is? I went into like. Um, we What's have it? Total Wine here. Yeah, oh, yeah Total yeah. Wine. Total yeah. Wine. I went into the humidor and I asked the guy to come help me. And there's a guy who's not like a tobacconist, but he's a cigar smoker. And I said, look, I have a very good friend of mine and I want to get him like a really nice cigar. So he, of course, goes to the lock case and says, well, this is where the good stuff is. And I said, well, that looks really nice. What's that? Well, that looks nice. What's that? And then it's like, you know, I don't know, like a 40 or $50 cigar. And I said... That's about what I would like to spend. And he goes, damn, you're a good friend. I didn't know nothing about cigars. He's a good friend. Was he a good friend? So I bring it to him, happy birthday. And then I'm like, okay, so you're going to light it? So I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, this is all I'm not thinking. Like, I'm like, put it in, I'm know, not going to smoke this. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to let this one rest. And right, I'm going to keep it in. Let it, let it. And I'm like, come yeah, on, yeah, man. Don't yeah, worry about it. This morning I came. Yeah, yeah, smoke it, smoke it. I'm like, ah, okay, okay, okay. And, um. 
you know, I think the point I, I was, I think I lost my point, but the whole thing was about we were talking about the cuts and stuff. Um, that I, I I did a punch on it with, you know, it it was nice, you know. Well, it, the punches are good. Yeah, definitely good. So I think they're all effective. I think when it comes to cutters, number one, you have to know how to use them. Mm-hmm. Because some people will overcut with a straight yeah, you cut, cut the whole the cap. thing off the. <laughs> then you sit here with the like thirty percent less gold. Yeah, so yeah. you <laughs> cut it and you got stringy <laughs> tobacco. And you pull out pieces. I just smoking. Or you you got something that's meant to be cut one way. And you're yeah. using the wrong. I don't know. I mean, again, we're all not. It's like, all a uh, learning curve too. We're, we were we weren't born on on the Arturo Fuente farm. <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> not. Unfortunately <laughs> not. <laughs> But that uh, you know that I will I will say this for my short time, um, you said about October of twenty October twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. We're only in January, or the very end of January of twenty three. In my short time of smoking, I, I I I fell in love with it so much to the point that I've dived into books and read and watched videos and. Just wanted to educate myself on a lot of different levels, from tobacco regions to tobacco companies, and like, for example, just the other day I watched a um, sort of a mini documentary about the Fuente family and all the stuff that they went through with, you know, uh, the houses burning down and storms hitting them and moving from country to country until they've landed in DR and they've just become so successful and one of the biggest prominent names along with like a Davidoff or LFD or whatever. But um, I just love the learning aspect. It's been like this really cool journey of trying so many things. And the, to, to end my point, it's I've smoked so much in this short time. And yeah. these guys know that I have, one of the craziest, <laughs> I have one of the craziest collections that my wife is always just like, where did all this come from? <laughs> but she she allows oh, me. I have me. that she one. Me. <laughs> yeah. You know, but um, yeah, I just really fell in love with the hobby, man. With the with the everything about it. Yeah, it's and there's so much to know. But that's, so much. That's to part. Of the, that's part of the like. That's part of the that's enjoyment. Of that thing, I feel like right? part. I mean, yeah, that's definitely part of the enjoyment for me as well. Like I, I didn't go as deep as you went with. You know the research so quickly, but for me, it's always like so. Like one point, I was like, okay, we're talking about cuts. I'm like, well, what kind of cuts are they? You know, and then I would be, oh, so it's a V cut. You kind of find out. Yeah, scum, kind of, you kind of yeah, scum how you cut? Yeah, and, and then, and then, then you remember, yeah, yeah, and then and then I would go, okay, so now I'm gonna. I saw that that punch. Let me see how it works. And I went out and got a punch, and then I punch, and then I have a cigar, and I smoke a few like that, and then you know, it's like. You know, and then I, because I don't smoke as frequently, you know, maybe I did that learning process over six months, you know, instead of it being like no, you know, a way. week. I, so like two weeks. <laughs> I like to stumble upon, like, you know, like, like, I don't, like, Steve usually does the research. He does, he puts in the man hours and he does everything. Mm-hmm. And he'll teach the group. And like, hey, did you know about this? And hey, did you, did you try this? Did you try that? This is made over here. And this is how it's constructed. It's yeah. constructed with this leaf. So I learn a lot with with smoking with Steve. That's why I enjoy the company with with Steve. But I also like to stumble upon some some things that I, like Steve wouldn't even know about. I'd be like, "Hey, I just found this in the humidor. Have you had it?" He's like, "No, I haven't had it yet." I'm like, well, that, that's how you found out that you love the God of Fire. God of Fire. That was one stick that I hadn't had yet. Mm. We went to a lounge. He has it, and he's just sitting there and wouldn't stop saying, "Oh my God, I love this stick." Oh my God, I, I, I probably said it about like thirteen times. And, like, and and yeah, and and that's one of his go to sticks now. Right. Is he loves the God of Fire. I was gonna I was gonna smoke one today, but I was like, you know what? Let me do something new. Um, this is a cigar of the year. I've been, I, it's been in my humidor for a little while. I'm like, you know what? Let me just try it. And you've never had that. One. I've never had this one. What do you think of it? It's not bad. I, what what's, what's funny about it is I didn't fall. I didn't try it. Like I didn't buy it off the off the shelf because it's cigar of the year. I fell in love with it because it was the color. Mm. It was the color of the lead. It was. It's really dark. It was a fairly nice size stick. So I figured, you know, it's a nice little quick slash. Right. You know, enjoy the stick. And then at the same time, like I was like, you know what? I usually. I, I'm like, you know, I'll give it a shot. I usually go by the color of the leaf because, you know, I know that the lighter ones are usually lighter, the darker are dark, obviously. But 
This one is kind of like almost on the darker side, but it's still a little light. But I, I, it's, it's, it's actually pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Um, would I buy it again? Maybe I'll buy one, put it in my humidor, right. store it, and then... Well, you know, it, it obviously won for a reason. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, everyone's palate is different. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and, exactly. And, and you could have that right now with a glass of water or a bottle of water. <clears throat> and the next time you have it, you have it maybe with a whiskey. Yep. Right. I think that's and all of a sudden you're saying, nice oh, this that. is a different experience. Mm -hmm. Or the fact that you aged it for, I don't know, however long, six months, a year. Least, it had to be two years. This maybe two years of sitting in your humidor. Yeah, it, it changes. It, it either gets better, it could get worse, depending on how you maintain it. There's yeah. a lot of things that affect affect how you taste a cigar. Yeah. Just your palate alone. The mm -hmm. three of us could all smoke the same stick. And have a different all, yeah. and have a different experience. You might like it, I won't. And yeah. you're like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. You know? well, and this is other stuff that I learned. This is not me talking like I'm no, a pro. This is just my knowledge no, base. Yeah, I told me definitely. that you know, videos and stuff like that have said you could have a cigar and, and, and Bentley might pick up on notes of leather or hay, and I won't get that, but I might taste wood or pepper. You know, and then you might get a completely different yeah, experience. Yes. Yeah. Speaking about that, like I, I've, <coughs> I've gone before and said, "Oh, so everybody's said, oh, Padron, Padron, you got to try Padron, Padron." So, okay, so I get a Padron and I smoke it. I'm like, this yeah. thing is just straight pepper. Like yeah, I don't but, know why, I know that feeling, but yeah. maybe those people like that taste. That's their so, palate. Right. So that you know, could be the. And for me, I'm like, nah, I don't. This is not for me. You know. And remember, this, this Padron not, makes more than one kind of cigar. Right. I don't know exact. Well, if you go off of what people refer, you know, um, it's one of these things where you gotta take that part into account because right. you may say, "Hey, I love LFD," and I go, "Okay, well, we, what, which one are you smoking?" And I go, "Try it," and I go, eh, "That's doesn't fit. It's a different taste, you know? right? right? It's a different taste." Um. Just like there's different liquor brand. I mean, there's the there's whiskey. There's like ten different whiskeys. Yeah, Which yeah. one no, is the best whiskey? More than ten, but yeah, you yeah. Say, I'm just saying. You take the top ten take whiskeys. The top. See, that's yeah, and say and you, you know. might say I don't like any of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I get it. I, I mean, and so to say, whiskey's not for you then. You know, maybe maybe you should stick closer to like uh, you know I don't know tequilas or something right. else. You know, but and that's why that's why I laugh about Gosh Vega. Not to bash any brand, but you know I don't even know if they're still in existence. But <laughs> Definitely experiencing that first, I think it gave me a good understanding of like what's like levels, like what's good, what's bad, what's you know. Um, and I prefer, I like mint cigars. I don't really so, like. Do you like the Java mints as well? So, I like the the, the the Java mints are good. They give you more of a mint. Like this is um. Definitely a, a mild mix with the cocoa and the mint. It's not it's not overly flavored. Right. Um, Java mint is mint, a mint cigar. You get that nice mint, you know, with it. So if you like that flavor, definitely Java mints are good. You know, um, that's just that's again my my taste yeah. of it. Um, but I like you mentioned. I learned not there was. I don't want to say that maybe there wasn't any flavors. I don't know. I've never really focused on it. I think flavors became popular later on in my experience. And then I was like, all right, I'll 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 try a flavored cigar. But I would like like the cognac and those type flavors versus, you know. So you ever have that, like, that little cocoa. Tatiana line? Yeah, I did. I had it's a like couple. cheapy. I don't want to call yeah. it ghetto, but it's like <laughs> yeah, I had a couple like, of those. I laugh at it now because I went and had one, yeah. and then I said, you know, because of my learning experience, the 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 want to learn and try everything, I bought like one of every single flavor. Okay, and I was like, wow, these are really garbage. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I said. That's what I said. I, I had a couple of them. And I'm like. This is not it. Like maybe, maybe it's a different one that'll taste better. And I'm like, nope. And that's not it. I was like, people not. who have been smoking for they love them? eons. No, no, no. People oh. who smoke for eons have been telling me like, listen, if you're smoking an acid, you really don't know shit about cigars. And I'm like, that's why I got, I got away from acid. Like, that's yeah. so there's some reason. Why I like, this is my mind. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I was like, you know, I was like, oh, I'm smoking a cigar. Everyone's like, oh, what are you smoking? I'm like, I don't know. This thing's called an acid. He's like. 
they're like, oh yeah, I had those before, but like, you know, like what, well, you know, and I, I, they would look at me like, that's not really a cigar. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh out of, crap. Out of, like, the, oh. out of the few I had, because I do and enjoy something that's something sometimes that's flavored. I found that Kubu Kubu was okay. Kubu Kubu was awesome. You know, and and that was like the only one I would have after that point. Mm-hmm. But I honestly, did, I honestly personally didn't really enjoy too much of their line. I had a few things. That yeah, I, I mean, again, flavor like it depends on what you. I guess if you're experimenting and you try them, you'll you'll find out like what you like, what you don't like. Yeah. I I don't flavors are cool. Like I like <laughs> this line of flavored cigars because again, it's not they're not overly powerful. What I will say though is that Nova brand that you introduced that that. I don't know, and what is that flavor? Like what? What? Yeah, you got. I you don't know what it is. It's just it. a sweet, because that sweetened robusto. That is a very nice. Cigar. I like that. that cigar. It was really smooth. smooth. It was I smooth. like that cigar. It's flavor good. and flavor I wise, it's like a sweet. I don't know. It's just nice. It's just nice. Now I gave that to someone else who our, our buddy uh, Corey yeah, who yeah. works at a cigar lab. He works at a cigar lab. Uh-huh. So all he does is smoke cigars all day. Right, he didn't I like gave it. him that, and he said it reminded him of Manasseh. So I immediately had that thing played in my head, like, <laughs> "Oh, come on, you know." Like, but then I gave him something else from their line. I think I gave him something like a Sultan, and it's a very dark, strong, you know, more medium to full body. I forget exactly what the ratio is in there. Okay. But it, it's rated at either like a, you know, mid, medium full to full. Right. I think it's up there, and it's got a real nice dark wrapper. He actually liked that. Right, right. But he kind of felt like that Nova Sweet Robusto was reminded him of like having an acid Cuba Cuba or something. Right. I, I mean, maybe so because, it, but I, it's way smooth. I feel it's way smoother. Than maybe that. because of the flavor. Because, you know, I mean, it's a flavored cigar, right? That is true. That is true. But that cigar, I think, again, just my opinion, it's constructed different. It's really well constructed. It's really well rolled. I don't know. It's Go ahead, I'm just. Sorry. It, it, it's it it not like the acid line. Okay, I don't so think so. To add to the point, I don't know if that's actually considered Mississippi. Oh, flavors of love. Right. But I that, think but it's considered I think to it's have a, a sweetened tip. But see that and that's the point that I was saying. So before. it might be like a pure cigar with a sweetened tip with just sweet to give tip. it a little taste. And that's what I was saying before. Like I don't know. I was like, what is that flavor? Because I don't know if that's a flavored cigar necessarily. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It could be something of like a, uh, I don't want to say like a cognac or. Hey, I don't know. But maybe just... like a. But like, remember when I first started um, and started experiencing or experimenting, like trying all different stuff, one after the other? That's I, what like, I, did. I started like smoking like crazy. I was smoking one a day, two a day. And then I was like, all right, I got to a point where I kind of like, I might have to taper off before I want to give myself mouth cancer or yeah. something. I just kind of was like, I need to slow down. But I think a lot has to also do with the uh, the eagerness to learn about what's out there right. and try everything. It's kind of like the fat kid going to the buffet and wanting everything on his plate. But then I'm like, oh, my God, you know, <laughs> that's yeah, it. Yeah. That might be a poor analogy. But the thing was, you can only do so much at, right. at a, a certain pace. You can only handle so much. Yeah, okay. And... Time has to allow for that. Because like we talked about earlier, it makes you stop for an hour or two. I can't stop every day for two, three, four hours because right. I, I got stuff to do. Right. And that's the other thing too. This is a, this is, I learned, and it, again, my opinion, I learned that you can have one of those cigarellos, the little ones. That That's not going to take you a long time. Right. Small, not at all. 15 minutes. You right? know, yeah. yeah. Depending. But you, if you have a cigar and you take your time, it's going to take you an hour. <laughs> you take you 45 uh, minutes to an hour. You know, it's an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you'll we'll agree on that. Again. Yeah, it'll be 45 okay. minutes to an hour, depending okay. on how, like, if you're puffing, puffing, if you're one of those kind of smokers. I usually am. Then, He's a faster smoker. Yeah, yeah. Then, then I make, smoke slower. Yeah. It'll take you 45 minutes to an hour, though. This I'll is not something you can, you can just even, rush through. Even like a Robusto cut yeah. is, is, is meant to be about a 45-minute smoke. Yeah. I take about an hour for a Robusto. Yeah. I don't Nothing know if it's because I'm just talking too much, but even when I went myself and just watching a TikTok or something, or talking, yeah. you know, hanging with the dog, throwing a stick, whatever, I'm still taking it out. I, just, I don't know. I just kind of enjoy it, so I'm yeah. not rushing. So I'm never rushing. Rush soaking in. And yeah, and that and that and that's my point. Like this is a type of thing that you you spend time doing. You enjoy it. I mean, it's a whole it's a whole hour 
So let me throw another question at you guys while we're at it. You're you know? talking about like being new with it and how we started and learned and everything. What's the first time you went to a lounge, man? Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the Cigar and Bullshit Podcast. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Just hanging out with my friends, sharing experiences that help you take away something interesting and maybe some information that you didn't know. So make sure you tune into the next episode where you'll get to know more about us, hopefully more about cigars. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this podcast.